So let's see, let's see where, why the oil is so high and uh, where all the coolant is going. Oh, there's all the coolant. It doesn't look good. All right, it's gonna need an engine. No, no external leaks or anything. Other than that broken uh, tensioner pulley. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh. Let me get. Try uh, this side. There you go up. Yeah, so you can see it seeping past the piston. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I got that. That's Looking at it, like I think somebody somebody did a short block on this already. <laughs> huh? Maybe that's why everything's been touched. See so yeah, how the this one looks so clean, and the head still looks like uh, kind of different color. <laughs> okay, so inspecting the uh, journals on these cams, they look very rough. I don't know if I can get. How's that? Yeah, they look pretty rough. Right there, all the other ones they are rough, especially that one and that one, that one, that one. Uh, camshafts, a little dark. I need a light. Yeah. Okay, in the head. I can I can feel that with my nail. Oh, that still has coolant in it. I'll wipe it off. Mm, that one not low, not so bad. I think. Yeah. Still. Still feel it with my nail. Some of these are... Yeah, that one's okay. Let me wipe all that coolant off of this. Yeah, those don't look too bad. Other than the caps, that, that one's not so good. That one's actually the best <laughs> and that one too yeah, a little bit there yeah so I don't know I'll get you parts for a cylinder head and then I can just you know yeah so as I'm taking it apart you can see all the coolant but when I when when I torque my head bolts I always mark them, and one thing I notice, they are not, uh, they are not marked. When you do the, you know, the torque to yield, you know, your 90 degrees twice, right? So, as you can see, there's no markings. And, um, I'm just seeing how much these, uh, what, what they're torqued, torqued to. So, I have a digital digital torque wrench here, and uh, where's my triple square? So, I'm gonna take one of these bolts out that I haven't loosened because I took this one over here, and uh, I took it out pretty easily. So let's see how much torque it takes to. Uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let's see how much torque this thing takes to um, take this bolt out. Uh, let's go reverse. Look at that. It's already moving. Oh. I need somebody. Hey, can you hold this engine for me? It already started moving. <laughs> oh, 
hold this for me. So. Snapping? Yeah, so if I remember these torque specs, your 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 step one would be I think is it 27, 27 foot pounds. At 90 degrees. Yeah, and then ninety degrees, and then ninety degrees. But it's already cracking up at about yeah fifty foot pounds. I remember those torque to yields are quite a lot because you got to get that clamping force. Let me try a different bolt. I don't know if that's an easier way to tell, but. Yeah, here, it's moving. Barely even. Yeah, usually I have usually I have a very tough time taking these bolts out. Yeah, you can't even get them off half the time. <laughs> so, I think somebody just didn't torque the heads properly. And that's why you're getting coolant in the cylinders. Or, you know, it hydro-locked. So, I took the head off, and there you have it. <laughs> There's your head gasket problem. And uh, if you look on uh, cylinder, that's where it's it's, it's 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 no, it's it's not even uh, yeah, it's corroded. It's like like that's see the focus. Yeah, that's like a deep deep groove. Probably combustion gases just burned that up. And uh, that's where your coolant leak is getting. Also, if, when I look uh, along these uh, that is definitely being leaking and I can feel a little divot here. Can't see this on the uh, camera but yeah, that's what that looks like. There's that, and then there is that. I don't want to be a foot. I Again. Here's the, uh, 